I tried saving it so hard. Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Julie and clearly Ginger because she loves to be in the spotlight. But today we're going to be doing my August favorites. It is almost the end of the year, ladies and gentlemen. This is insane. So I'm really excited to share what I've been loving with you guys this month. Make sure to subscribe and let's just get into it. Okay, I just closed my window. But anyway, I had a little bit of a reaction to something and I don't know what it was. So I went to my dermatologist and he told me to simplify my skincare routine. So I've been washing my face with this Cetaphil gentle skin cleanser and I have really been loving this it is so gentle on the skin and I thought because I have acne prone skin I need like a harsh face wash and that is not the case the simpler the better the gentler the better <laughs> um so basically I just wash my face with this morning and night and keep it super simple so this is the face wash that I've been using it smells really nice it's just like super clean and it is such like a weird consistency. It's like a milky consistency, but this bottle lasts forever. It's not the cutest thing ever, but it is super effective. The treatment that I've been using is the Differin Gel. So you could pick this up at your local drugstore or Target. Um, I would say that use this very lightly because I started using it a few times a week and my skin is already super dry so I really got a bunch of dry patches and it was so uncomfortable and painful but once I really figured out a good routine this has totally made my skin so clear and it is helping with the overall even tone of my face. This is great and super inexpensive and you could get this over the counter. For hair products, I've been loving this. This is the Formula 18 Leave-In Conditioner. So I washed my hair today and as you could tell, it is super soft and silky. Of course, that has to do with my shampoo and conditioner, but I do love this. This helps take out the knots in my hair after my shower since I do bleach my hair. My hair gets pretty knotty after the shower, so this has helped so much. It smells so good and I got this at my hair salon. So I think that's where you could get it or maybe I guess would I would just search formula 18 leave-in conditioner and hopefully you could find this. This bottle is huge and it's going to last you so long. A little bit goes a long way. I did make the mistake of like spraying a lot one time and my hair did look greasy so be very careful with it. And the last hair product is this Moroccan oil treatment. So basically I just take a little bit of this and I put it in my hands. I rub it together, warm it up, start on the ends and then bring it all the way up and it just adds this nice shine to my hair. Super silky, helps with the frizz because nobody likes frizz. So I've been touching my hair so much. But nobody likes frizz, so this combo has been perfect for me. I have a makeup tool, so I've really been loving this. I know it's super dirty, but that's how you know that I've been loving this. This is a Koki Professional Sponge. So I like this better than the Real Techniques and everything because it is literally so bouncy and soft. You could totally see that it is just super bouncy and movable all over the skin. I love this and it doesn't absorb too much product. The next item is this Kylie Cosmetics Blush. So I tried a few of her products and this was definitely the most standout-ish product. So this is in the shade Batty on the Block. So it's like such a beautiful peachy pink color. I feel like it is a perfect mix of peach and pink. It is so pigmented. I did my makeup hours ago and you could still see a little bit of color on the cheeks. I'm just going to apply some because I'm going out later. So I need a little bit of color. But as you can tell, I love this. So go check the review out. But this is definitely my favorite. And I need more colors of this type of blush because it is so good. The next blush that I've been loving is the Essence Mosaic blush. This one is in the shade All You Need Is Pink. So I have been using this a lot lately. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Dior blush. I don't know if it is or not, but I do love this shade. It is perfect. I'm going to swirl it together so you know exactly like what color 
it comes up as so it's a lighter blush so I would use this more on my natural makeup days but it has like a nice velvety finish so it's not shimmery or matte which I absolutely love and of course you can't beat the price next up is this highlighter I love this so this is the makeup by Mario highlighter in the shade golden so it looks like a super dark shade but it is not it looks so beautiful on the skin it blends perfectly as you can see it's just on my face right now I'm gonna apply some more so you guys could see but it is the perfect consistency it is not glittery and it is not supernatural so it just blends into the skin perfectly no matter what face products you're using it is just the perfect sheen and glitter to the face I wouldn't say glitter I would just say highlighter but it is the perfect shade for medium skin tones so I highly recommend this it is so pigmented and worth the money you a little bit goes a long way you do not need a lot of products so this is gonna last you a very long time the last product in this video is the NYX this is milky gloss so I would never ever say that a gloss is milky but honestly the texture of this is milky so this is in the shade milk and honey so here's what it looks like it is just such a beautiful formula and it keeps your lips super hydrated and this shade looks so good with any type of lip liner that is neutral i love wearing this by itself with a lip liner or i like putting a little bit of lipstick underneath and then pairing this on top it is just so stunning and looks so different than just a regular lip gloss honestly you just have to try it it feels so good on the lips and it smells so good it smells so sweet but not like cake or anything i don't really know but i love this and of course it's inexpensive Alrighty, guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed my august favorites next month is going to be september which is insane so make sure you guys subscribe to see more of my favorites for next month and i'll see you in the next one bye